Put it down and push it along. I'll pick it up. Okay. Thank you. Take it easy, kid. Sit tight. What's the idea? What do you think you're doing? No go. I can't crack him. Get back out there and stall him. We just got a report on him. We're going to try to get his family up here and see what they can do with him. Look, his name is Robert Cossack. C-O-S-I-C. -S -I -C. Whatever kind of name that is. Try it out on him for size. His father and mother are divorced. You may not want to talk about that, but see what you can find out. Look, I... I... Okay, what did you say his first name was? Robert. Robert. Keep that on. You may get a chance to be a hero. What about that stuff I drank in that water? Won't hurt you. Hi. You want another one? No. Could I have a cigarette now? <laughs> sure thing, Robert. Here you are. Left hand, right? Why did you call me that? Robert? Oh, I thought that'd be all right with you. But now we're getting acquainted. Have a cigarette. How did they find out? Police routine. They had to check around a while, but they found out they got a pretty good line on you. You're getting to be famous. <laughs> it's none of their business. They're just trying to help It's you. none of their business. I don't want everybody crowding me. I don't like to be bothered. Cigarette, kid? Put him down. I don't smoke much, usually. I try to take good care of myself. Good idea. Everybody ought to take good care of themselves. My father drinks too much. Uh-huh. Hold it, here it comes. They talked to the bond house downtown where his old man works. He's a salesman, but he's out somewhere. They can't locate him. Well, get a pickup on him. I did. Oh, Mrs. Kozik lives with her sister in Jersey. But they can't reach her either. Somebody thinks she went shopping. Hey, give this dope to those radio bums. Give them something useful to do. Maybe somebody will be listening. Well, go on. Hello. Listen, get a 24 out on Paul Kozik. If you have any information concerning the whereabouts of these people, please call this station of the police immediately. I'll repeat the names. The father is Paul E. Kosick. The mother, 
Mrs. Christine Hill Cossack. This is an urgent appeal. The most amazing heroic thing so far is that this man, Charles Dunnigan, is a traffic cop. He's one of New York's average, hard-working traffic cops. He seems to be winning Robert's confidence where everyone else is fake. Hey, that must be the cop who was down here. First man off the scene. He was just starting his morning. All right, everybody grab his office. Who's got pastrami? I'm what? Who give me a box? That's mine. I can Where'd you have? Coffee, no sugar, no cream. Okay. This well, that was black coffees with the X. Where's my chain? You get chain, though. Listen, how about a pool, a buck a throw? Like it is, the cops got us froze. Nobody makes nothing working out of this stand today. With some dough up, somebody gets a pot. What do you say? Well, what's the matter with that? Stinks. No, listen, see? Everybody puts a buck in and takes a slip of paper with a different time. The guy that gets closest to time this joker jumps, that guy gets the pot. You know what I mean? Look, here's the slips of paper. You loan me your hat, huh? Now, I'll mark it off. You guys give me a buck a piece, and we'll have this pool. Traffic has been cleared okay. sufficiently, Two, and the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade will be held. This is the big day for New York's fight. There's still no word okay, from Robert's okay. parents. came in that car? I don't know. I'd like to talk to her before you let her see him. Why? She might upset him. You never can tell. Sure. While you psychoanalyze her, he dies. Well, Donnegan, the kid's mother's here. Mrs. Cossack's in the hotel. Keep this line open, will you? Yeah, hold the line up. Where is he? I'm his mother. Mrs. Cossack, this is important. Your son may be acting. We don't know. He may jump at any moment. Please, let me see him. Wait, please. Bobby! Bobby! Mrs. Cossack. Oh, I knew something was wrong. He hasn't written me in six months. Yes. I, I didn't know where he was. I wasn't even sure he was in New York until... I I'm don't. his mother. Please yes, let but me see. Don't you see? Don't Bobby. let her talk to me. Please let me see him. Let her go. I, oh, Bobby! Bobby! Oh. Oh. Bobby! Bobby, it's mother. Wait. Why don't you talk to your mother for a minute? She's worried about you. Bobby. Bobby, look at me. What's the matter? Look at me, son. What do you want to talk about? I haven't got much time now. Oh, please come in. Please come in. Nothing is this bad. I know you haven't been happy, but... Bobby, baby... Mother! Don't call me that! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but please come in now. I want to talk to you. I love you, Robert. Don't do this. I know you don't want to do this to me. Robert, you love me, don't you? I haven't done anything, have I? You haven't done anything. Well, then, what is it? I... Are you in some sort of trouble? Do you need money? You haven't been eating right. You're just upset. You've seen your father, Robert. Oh, nothing is really this bad, is it? Robert! What, what are you going to do? I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. Please go away now. Robert, come in here. Would you like to take a vacation with me, son? We could go somewhere on the beach. We could go to Seabright. You used to like Seabright. Then we could forget all about this. I can't come in now. Oh, you can come in now if you want to. Oh, it's, it's easy, Robert. Just, 
Just take a step over here. I Just said take... go away. I, I've talked to you now. Go away. I can't stand everybody crowding me, trying to make me do things. I've got to make up my own mind. Take her away now. Away from here. <laughs> you want to lie down for a while? Oh, let me see you. Commissioner. <laughs> yes, sir. Deputy Chief Marks are emergency. I don't know what more we can do, sir. Yes, sir. Well, we can't rig any kind of a net without him saying it. Yes, sir. Uh -uh. Has he ever done anything like this before? <laughs> no. I don't think so. He's always been nervous. He was in the hospital when he was away at school, but he, he wasn't sick. He, he was just nervous. I don't know. Why won't he talk to you? Well, he's, he's not himself. You think he's busted up about a girl or something like that? Oh. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Can I get through, please? All right, back. I'm the boy's father. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Cossack. Go right in. <laughs> I'm his father. I don't know if there's anything that... Hello, Chris. Oh, Paul, you're shameless. We're doing all we can. Please, Paul, at this late date, this is indecent. You think you can do anything with him? Do you want to talk? Don't, don't let no, him. No. Haven't you done enough damage? Chris, for the love of you, don't let him. Okay, okay, okay. Now, listen, both of you. I got enough on my hands without this. I'm trying to talk your kid out of taking a dive. No wonder he's cuckoo. You want to put on the gloves? Do it outside. Come on, both of you. Oh, Get him outside of the hall. After 15 years of neglect and selfish unconcern to come back here, if there's anybody to blame, okay, you're to blame. Okay, okay, nobody's to blame. Do you want to talk to him? Well, if you think it'll do any good, but he's been closer to his mother. I've had the whole burden. If you've been able to give him any kind of a living, if you've been able to make him any Chris, kind of a home... Shut up! Mr. Cossack, how did you feel when you Let's discovered your boy... Let's get these characters the... out of here. Look, I almost had him a couple of times. I... I know I can con him in if I can just get my hands on what's bothering him. Do you know what's bothering him? You're his father. I, I don't know. I, I don't know him very well. I hardly recognized him when I saw him on television. I was in a bar downtown. Where else? Put down, will you? I'd like to talk to him. Yeah, I'd like to talk to him. Ask him, will you? See, I, I wanted to see him, but I, I didn't think he wanted to see me. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Let me go. Let me go. Bobby! Bobby! Bobby, Bobby, I won't let the doctors touch you. I won't let them do anything to you. I know what Virginia thinks, but Virginia is wrong. You're not sick. Don't listen to her, Bobby. You don't have to do anything you don't. Keep her away from here, will you? Hey, hey, ask him if he'll see his own man. Yeah, but she just... Go ahead, out there. My father's in there. He's no good. He wants to see you, Robert. But he's afraid you got something against him. You got nothing against him, have you? Who's Virginia? I don't know. I don't know anybody with that name. How long since you saw your father, kid? Can I have a cigarette? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I 
I don't see him much anymore. They fought all the time. It was his fault. He's no good. Look, this is none of my business, so don't get sore. I'm just a guy here talking, but I have to call him as I see him. You're sure you're not just taking your mother's word for that? 